Hello everyone, let's start with the next topic which is energy performance assessment of HVAC system that is heat, ventilation and air conditioning system. So, in HVAC system, air conditioning and refrigeration consume significant amount of energy in building and in process industry. So the energy consumed in air conditioning and refrigeration system is sensitive to the load changes, seasonal variation, operation and maintenance and the ambient conditions. So hence the performance evaluation will have to be considered to the extent possible for all these factors. Now let us see what is the purpose of performance test. The purpose of performance assessment is to verify the performance of refrigeration system by using field measurement. The test will measure net cooling capacity and the energy requirement at the actual operating condition. And the objective of the test is to estimate the energy consumption at the actual load condition. So, for this we require the performance test. So, the first test is to determine the net refrigeration capacity. So, this includes a measurement of net heat removed from the water as it passes through the evaporator by, determine, for, by determination of First is water flow rate and the second is temperature difference between the entering and leaving water. The heat removed from the chilled water is equal to the product of the chilled water flow rate, the water temperature difference and the specific heat of the water and is defined as follows. So, the net refrigeration capacity in turns shall be obtained by the following equation. That is 1 Tr is equals to of refrigeration is equals to 3024 kilocalorie per hour heat rejected. So, the refrigeration Tr is assessed as. So, here the Tr is turns of refrigeration. So, Tr equals to Q into Cp into Ti minus T0 divided by. 3024 which is 1 TR of the refrigeration. So, where Q is the mass flow rate of coolant in kg per hour, Cp is the coolant specific heat in kilocalorie per kg degree Celsius, Ti is the inlet temperature of the coolant to the evaporator in degree Celsius and T0 is the outlet temperature of coolant from the evaporator in the in degree Celsius. Next is methods of measuring the flow. So, in absence of an online flow meter, the chilled water flow can be measured by the following methods. First is in case where hot well and the cold well are available, the flow can be measured from tank level dip or rise by switching off the secondary pump. Next is non-invasive method would require a well calibrated ultrasonic flow meter using which the flow can be measured without disturbing the system. And the last if the water side pressure drops are close to the design value it can be assumed that the water flow of pump is same as the design flow rate. So, by this methods, we can get the measurement of the flow. Next is measurement of compressor power. The compressor power can be measured by the portable power analyzer, which would directly give out the reading in kW. But if not, then the ampere must be measured by using an online ammeter or by using a tongue tester. and 
the power can be calculated by assuming the power factor of 0.9. So, the formula is power p equals to root 3 v i cos phi. Next is performance calculation. Energy efficiency of chiller is commonly expressed in one of the three following ratios. So, either it can be coefficient of performance COP equals to KW refrigeration effect divided by KW input or energy efficiency ratio EER equals to BTU per R refrigeration effect upon Watt input or the third power per turn KW per turn equals to KW input upon turns refrigeration effect. So, we can get the energy efficiency of the chiller from this. Next is performance evaluation of air conditioning system. Here for the centralized air conditioning system, the air flow at the air handling unit that is AHU can be measured with an anemometer and the dry tube and the wet tube temperatures can be measured at the AHU inlet and outlet and the data can be used along with the psychometric chart to determine the enthalpy. So, the heat load is equal to M into H in minus H out divided by 4.18 into 3024. So, here the M is mass flow rate H in is the enthalpy of the inlet air, H out is the enthalpy of the outlet air. The heat load can also be calculated theoretically by estimating the various heat load both the sensible and latin in the air conditioning room and the difference between these two indicates the losses. Now the next is measurement to be recorded during the test. So, all the instruments including the gauges and the thermometers shall be calibrated over the range of the test reading for measurement of the following parameters. First is evaporator. So, the temperature of the water entering the evaporator, temperature of water leaving the evaporator, chilled water flow rate, evaporator water pressure drops. Next is compressor, power input to compressor, electrical power that is Kw. So, this is about the energy performance assessment of the HVAC system. So, that is all for this video and thank you.